everybody, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review. And today I'll be smoking the Crown Heads Mil Diaz Maduro in Topes. This here is a 4 and 7 eighths by 56 ring gauge. I'll call it a Topes as well. It's a short cigar, but uh, has some girth to it. <laughs> and also it has a pretty wrapper. Dark chocolate in color. Very smooth too. Well packed foot. There's that signature Crown Heads foot band. And the Mildias band. I don't think it's any different from the, the original Mildias. There's a cat. Little flag on the top. But yeah, as far as the blend goes, this one has a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, that wrapper over Ecuador and Habano binder over all Nicaraguan fillers. And as far as my previous experience with Crown Heads, specifically this Mil Diaz line, probably my favorite line from Crown Heads, the Mil Diaz. The original blend in Corona Gorda, I love that cigar. I probably need to review it at some point. Very, very good cigar. And then also the LE, the Edition Limitada Menonitos, the 2022 Menonitos. Freaking phenomenal. That was one of my cigars of the year for that year. Love that cigar as well. So yeah, uh, because my previous experience with the Mel Diaz line, I'm looking forward to trying the new Maduro here. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. Great draw. Foot band, let's see how easily this comes off. Came off seamlessly. Alrighty, slide it up. <laughs> All right. Uh, this thing is a little peppery. Through the retro hail, black pepper is the main tone. On the palate, red pepper is the main tone. I typically don't get pepper on the palate, but I certainly am here. Those are the two main tones, both of the retro hail and on the palate. Also getting chocolate mousse, I really dig that as an undertone through the retro and palate. Sinuses are clear already. Rich oak is an undertone as well through the right tone palette. Whew, damn. Yeah, uh, right now, I'm gonna say medium to full body, long finish, and a slightly aired smoke texture. Let's see what happens with this cigar. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the first third here. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the first third. Amazing construction so far. Near perfect burn line. Beautiful ash that's still holding on and still plenty of smoke. All right. So yeah, at this point, Medium to full body, long finish, and a slightly creamy smoke texture. Chocolate mousse is now the main flavor, both of the rectal hail and of the palate, that has certainly risen in strength, and I really like it. The pepper is still there. Not as strong as it was at the first light, but it's certainly still there. Black pepper through the rectal hail, slightly stinging my sinus, and also the red pepper on the palate, right underneath that chocolate mousse No. Rich oak as well as an undertone to the retro and palate, and very faint hints of this pecan nut and also espresso to the retro and palate. A very sensational cigar. It is certainly tickling my senses so far. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the second third. 
probably into that Mel Diaz Bay in a bit. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the second third. Slightly wavy burn line. Nice enough looking ash that's holding on for now. And still, a lot of smoke. Hmm. Yeah. Puh. So yeah, at this point, medium to full body, long finish, very creamy smoke texture. The main tone is malted milk chocolate. Satiating sweet flavor at the forefront. I am loving it. The pepper spice has also backed off, which I love. Black pepper, just a hint of that through the retro hill, barely seeing my sinuses, and barely any red pepper on the palate. Mmm. Picking up more of the espresso and also pecan nut through the rectal hill and on the palate, and very faint whispers of rich oak through the rectal hill and on the palate. Right now, this cigar is really, really enjoyable. Hoping to finish it strong. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the final third, as far down as I can go, which is not much further with this being such a short cigar. And I'll get you the final verdict. Hey, we have reached the end of the final third. Beautiful burr line, nice looking ash, great construction throughout, and still a lot of smoke. So yeah, at this point, medium to full body, long finish, and a slightly creamy smoke texture. Malted milk chocolate. That is still the main flavor, both of the rectal hill and the palate. The black pepper spice did ramp up to the retro hill, just slightly seeing my sinuses. The red pepper is still there on the palate, barely there at this point, which I'm okay with. Undertones of rich oak, espresso, and pecan nut to the retro and palate. And that is it as far as the flavors go. So overall, I'm gonna rate this cigar a satisfying. Really peppery cigar in the first third at the first light and first third. Kind of a peppery cigar in the final third, but the middle portion of this cigar was freaking phenomenal. So overall, a satisfying score. Give it like six months to a year of age. That pepper can calm down, hopefully, and this could become a memorable cigar. Also, I totally forgot to mention in the intro, this cigar here was sent in by my subscriber, Kevin. Kevin, thank you, sir. This ended up being a damn good smoke. Damn peppery, but a damn good smoke. And one last thing, do not forget to follow the infamous smoke show. The infamous smoke show on YouTube. That's a new way of dedicated live streaming channel. I'll have a link in the description below. If you can go there and subscribe, that would help out a lot. So thank you in advance if you do. So yeah, everybody, this has been my review of the Crown Heads, Mil Diaz Maduro, and Dopes. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next review.